Hey guys, we're going to be doing some partial quotients division and you should be so excited. All right. This one is going to have a remainder. If you're curious about that, Alexa, stop. Sorry guys. That's to remind me to change my laundry. Okay. So if you are a parent doing this and you're like, why do I need to learn this new way? I already know how to do long division. Can I just teach my kid that? Give this way a chance. If you don't end up liking it, it's okay, but give it a chance. Okay. So we're going to start out and it's going to look very familiar. Okay. We're dividing five into 5,632, right? Now, some ways I'll have you draw a long line here and write the numbers over here. That's totally fine. Just my personal preference is I like to write it above, but if you want to do the side thing, that's fantastic. Okay. So basically what you do here is you kind of, we're thinking in big generalizations at first. So I kind of think, Okay, how many times do I know five will go into 5,632, like at least? So I know five goes in there at least a thousand times, right? Because five times a thousand gives me 5,000. So I'm going to write a thousand up here, okay? A thousand times five gives me 5,000, right? So this is like I'm taking a thousand fives out of this group and seeing what I'm left with, okay? What I still need to divide. So when I subtract that, I get 632, okay? Then I'm like, well, <clears throat> I know that five goes into 632 at least 100 times, right? Because that's 500. So I'm going to do 100. 100 times five gives me 500. And when I subtract that, I get 132. Okay. Then I'm thinking, okay, how many times do I know five goes into 132? Well, I know it goes in at least 20 times, right? Because 20 times five is 100. So I'm going to do 20, which gives me, 20 times five gives me 100. Subtract and I get 32. Okay, and then I know five goes into 32 six times. Six times five gives me 32, sorry, not 32, 30. <laughs> when I subtract, I'm left with two. And then we can't divide five into two without fractions and decimals and things, right? So this is going to be my remainder, okay? So now all I do is I add these top numbers up. So if these are going to add to 1,126. And then I had a remainder of two, okay? All right, you could also write that as 1,126 and two fifths because of this five here. But I'm guessing they'll probably want it this way for now, at least, okay? Now, why is this way cool? Because guess what? We could have different kids could have different numbers up here. And as long as it adds to this, you're great, okay? If you had realized, oh, it goes in 1,100 times, that could have worked. So not everyone has to do it the exact same way to get the same answer. That's why this way is really cool. Um, I'll link an example where I do two the same problem two different ways using partial quotients and some other examples in the corner. But good luck getting your homework done.